Welcome to Ruffle Waffle. On today's episode, we have a variety of MW Polar canned items. Yay! The MW Polar Company was kind enough to send those out to us, so I want to thank them for that. I'm going to use some sardines. Lofi's going to use some herring and spicy tomato sauce. Mm. And Senior Owaro elected not to do fish because he's the smartest one on this episode for some reason. <laughs> You'll find out that that's wrong. <laughs> and he's doing the marinated mushrooms. Yay, we are so smart. We are so smart. Sardines. Delicious. However, <laughs> will they make a good waffle? <laughs> no. Ooh, that's nice. Put like a nice little scoop de whoop. Mm, a little starchy foundation. Soft, you gotta be gentle. They are very delicate. Very <laughs> delicate. Are they succulent? They are succulent. Look at these things. Ooh. Oh man, these are reminding me of those sprats we got. Yeah. Sprats? Sprats are good. I don't think we've had a better brush than the sprats. Those sprats were so good. Put a little bit on top. <laughs> And then let's just shut her down. Oh, oh really? So great when they, <laughs> that bit just sticking out of it. Yeah. See what that's all about. The smoky flavor that those have is amazing. Just the right salt level, not too salty. <laughs> you can see little bits, little dark bits. Oh yeah, there's a fin. You can see a whole fish <laughs> absolutely delicious called chow chow like chow chow is just it's a thing so you can look it up mm. it's a thick cut relish basically mm. so i'm just gonna put a little bit on that i think that'll give it like a nice little tang come on <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like realizing what's happening right now uh -huh. <laughs> it's mostly overdone fish <laughs> <laughs> These sardines are way better by themselves. As it is, this tastes kind of like a McDonald's filet fish Oh, I love filet fish <laughs> You know, like, one that's a little bit old. Oh. You know what? If you put a slice of cheese on this, American cheese, <laughs> and a shit ton of tartar sauce, this would actually be <laughs> grossly, <laughs> grossly <laughs> delicious. <laughs> mm. Oh, boy. So first of all, I get the impression that this waffle was taken out because the fish was starting to get too hot. But it wasn't taken out because the waffle was done. <laughs> it's a very underdone waffle. All sardines have been cooked to the point of death. And the thing that saves them, their soft texture, is the fact that they're served alone. Here we have a mushy fish paste with overcooked fish inside of it. And um, it's uh, it's bad. We're always selected for the tartar sauce route after Lofi's <laughs> glowing endorsement. <laughs> that fish is gross. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> it got cooked and it had some kind of chemically taste. <laughs> That's gross, man. I'm surrounded by weak, weak men. <laughs> and today we are making waffles out of polar herring filet and hot tomato sauce. And I would like to preface this by saying I am against all of these proceedings. <laughs> these fish have already been cooked. Hey, you're the fishmonger. You should yes. know how to do this correctly. This is beyond the point of doing things correctly. We have. <laughs> Gone past the point of no return. There's gonna be tomato <laughs> sauce everywhere. You guys ready for the, who's ready for the bukkake shot? Oh, oh no! <laughs> I don't know a better way between going from point A to point B, but. <laughs> so straight line. Eh, yep, there we go. Eh, 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 eh. The sauce is a little sweet and the fish is it's very tender. Very, very tender. Mm hmm. So, to really, sorry, means. <laughs> to a point where you wouldn't want to do anything to it. <laughs> Again, not the kind of thing you'd be pouring maple syrup on. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> Every stir feels wrong. 
<laughs> I know you're not what you should be, but you're gonna have to do. Ooh. Ooh. It's a little bit red. And it smells a little bit gross. It doesn't smell as bad as the no. uh, sardine one. Hey. No, it doesn't smell as bad as Fuck that one. You. <laughs> Caper syrup. Yes, it is time. Mmm, fish and peas. Yeah. We've made our bed. Now it's time to vomit in it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going in any right direction either, I can tell you. <laughs> this is gonna fall flat on its face. Oh, it's horrible. The capers don't make it any better. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, the aftertaste is not good <laughs> nope. either. Nope. Ooh, it, ooh, what's that? I was a little free with the capers. Why is it building up? <laughs> <laughs> I quit eating you. Quit tasting. <laughs> ooh. It's not through with your mouth yet. <laughs> it tastes like what you imagine a bear would smell like. <laughs> There's what? something like super like B.O. in here. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> like, it's ugh, super duper it's bad. a little bit of an armpit. <laughs> Where is that coming from? <laughs> it smell good. <laughs> Raw <Rago>. Yep. <laughs> It's like the fish still got overcooked, even though the waffle didn't get cooked at all. <laughs> oh god, it is! It's I didn't even hardly have it to touch my tongue, and it's still building on the flavor. Yeah, why is it getting fishier? So I'm doing me a mushroom waffle. Waffle, 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 waffle. Oh man, it. I'm gonna, Man it. I'm gonna rip a muscle in my shoulder trying to get this thing open. Put some, I can't do it! Put some mayonnaise on it. I can't do it. Seriously, I actually am hurting my shoulder. <laughs> Bad people have tried this. <laughs> Just go get a hammer. Get the team of ponies. Okay. Okay. Where's the fucking robo twist? I'm gonna go find that. Yeah. <laughs> get the <laughs> robo twist. There somewhere? You can do it, boy. <laughs> you can do it. Come on, I boy. believe in you! <laughs> Keep going! You killed the Robo Twins! Keep going! How could you? How could you? Oh. It gave up! It yeah. literally gave up, so... It's in his death throes. That is the final word on the Robo Twist. <laughs> in this episode, surprise and waffles. Yeah. We're gonna pick the hardest one, dude. Yeah, seriously. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard, man! I'm sorry! <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Un cotija, some mushrooms. Actually, cotija, angos, and waffles. It looks very powdery. It's mostly queso fresco. Cheese, cheese. I don't know if you poop that, you got problems, unless you're a seagull. Dude, I did that after I ate a pine ice cream. I'm pretty sure that the outside edges aren't going to get much more done than what they are. They don't seem to... The middles are going to get more done than the outsides. Let me use some sriracha. I'll let you guys use your own discretion. Okay. Okay, the mushrooms are not a good texture. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. shining part of this is not the mushrooms. It's probably that there isn't fish in it. <laughs> <laughs> There's that too, yeah. <laughs> That's the shining part. Yeah, the shining part, this is not fish. <laughs> now, I mean, like the mushrooms, like I said, like I'm letting you guys put the sriracha on there to your own discretion. Don't put even nearly as much as what I put on there. Because the sriracha kind of overpowers the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I think it would be good, almost plain. It smells really good. Got that savory thing happening. The inside is, um, I would say it's underdone. Because it tastes like it got to temperature. It's just that the filling is so moist and wet. Mm. 
that it's still, you know, soggy in the center. Mm. It's a little soggy. Early morning dew. Mm. <laughs> but, you know what? The flavor of this <laughs> is not bad. Fuck you, Loki. Mm. A little bit of meat, a little bit of onions. This would be kind of like a pierogi, you know? Yeah. Just like yeah. squashed flat. And that's good. I would, I would eat this. Even without those uh, additions. It has a nice amount of saltiness to it. Um, with the cheese. And the mushrooms definitely bring some flavor to the table. And I really don't mind the, the, uh, the texture. Definitely the best waffle of the day. Yay! Yeah. Everybody gets one. I guess. <laughs> M.W. Polar, I want to thank them again for sending these out. I mm. also want to apologize that we took their wonderful products <laughs> that are delicious by themselves right out of the can and threw them on a hot iron. <laughs> I knew it was wrong. I was trying to tell you. I, I tried to call the police. They didn't let me. They locked me up and put me back in the gimp hole. But hey, we got some quality, quality fun video here. Mm. <laughs> and we gave Where Will Gimme for the win on this wall. <laughs> Seriously, man. So thank you everybody for joining us on this episode of Raffle Waffle, where we learned a very important lesson that you only cook fish once. You only get one go at it. <laughs> Leave it alone. All right. Remember to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on all the social media. Check me out over on my Twitch channel. I'm there almost every night. And we will see you next time when we throw something else weird into a waffle. Maybe the transmission of an 87 Chevy.